Hello and welcome to the DSP project. I'm your host Rupert Brown and this week is part three of advanced launch pad techniques. Um, before we get into that though, I quickly want to touch on an email I was sent from number one the lark who asked me why did I use um, the automap mode in the previous tutorial part two as opposed to native mode and surely that that could all be achieved in native mode. Um, the short answer is yes, you can achieve it in native mode, however, um, you will have to make some sacrifices. If you do map um, this exactly the same as I did in that last video and do one pad to one clip start, then you're going to, that basically locks that mapping in place and you're then losing a lot of the flexibility you have with your session mode, being able to jump around and launch all different clips. Um, that one pad will always equal that one clip no matter where your little red box is on your screen. Um, another way you could approach it in with the native setup would be to actually turn the controller 90 degrees um, if you did want to have uh, a horizontal line of uh, beats and that would work and you but um, you'd be limited to eight at a time one column's worth uh, of course you could um, tab page up and down uh, to get more but only at one time you could only get eight start points so that is a bit of a limitation whereas with the system that I showed in that t video um, part two you are able to go into your native mode you can you can move around you can launch any of your your vocals your bass lines whatever and then when it's time to um, hit some drum action you can flip over into the auto map mode and and start having a, a good old mashup so that's why I chose to do it um, in the auto map mode uh, on top of that, I'm going to go into more depth possibly and show you how I've set up my effects and things which does require the, definitely does require the auto map for the momentary controls and, and things I, I touched on in part one of the advanced videos. But this is part three. So part three, I want to tackle one of the initial criticisms I had about the launch pad, which was if you assign an effects parameter to uh, one column eight pads you get quite a coarse um, adjustment over those eight pads and sometimes it, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and you might want something more smooth so I started thinking about how how could we solve this problem um, I tried mapping one parameter to more than eight pads with varying levels of success but you do end up using uh, a lot of pads a lot more than um, than what you probably want to so that wasn't ideal um, but I have come up with a, a solution and I'm about to show you that and I'm also going to show you um, the normal mode in auto map so basically how to get a reset for any of your parameters inside of live okay so let's talk about fine controls um, what I want to achieve here is I've got I want to use these four pads on the end here and I want to be able to control the frequency of this auto filter. I want to be able to move it up and down um, sort of fairly freely but then also have a, a fine control on it as well. So I'm going to jump over to the auto map software and I'm going to take these these four pads these four pads here. Uh, and I'm, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the value, the CC value, so that they're all, they all have one CC value because we need one value to control one parameter. So let's take, uh, let's stick with 39. So I'll select this one here, select 39, and the same for the other two. So now they're all the same, I want to set this bottom pad, I want to set it to normal. Essentially, if you think of normal, it uh, works in the same way as in the native mode, how you can reset your pans and sends. Entering a value here means that pushing that pad will jump straight to that value. So in this case, I want it to be 127. I want it to be the, this, um, this frequency to be at its full, fully open, um, as, it, as it's a low pass filter, filter. I want the reset to be fully open, so that's fine. So for these next two pads, I want them to be up and I want them to jump up and down through the frequency. So this bottom pad, I want to go down. So I'm going to set the from as the high value, and the two as the low value. Um, and then we've got this, the next one above it, to go up. So this is also set to step. I want it to go from uh, the low value to the high value. So pushing uh, this pad is going to make the um, the value go up in size. Now, for this, for this very top pad here, I want this, this is going to be our fine control. So, I also want this to be a step value. And I want it to go from the high value, 127, to the low value of 0. And we can actually see, set the size of the step here. So, 
in this case I want it to go in um, oh, sorry I want the size to go in one uh, one increment so one of our 127 milli notes at a time so that so that's now set here so that, so that this will go from the highest value to the lowest value and the size the steps will be of 0.1 so this is going to be a, a very fine adjustment so um, Let's have a look and see if that setup uh, is going to work. <laughs> so. We have our, our fine down. Fine up. Reset. And then if we want a really nice smooth phase. So there you go. Um, now obviously I'm having to whack that pad quite a lot because I've got that set um, to the, the, the finest size of one, but you can obviously make it something maybe four or make it, make it a little bit bigger um, depending on how fussy you want to get. But uh, either way, this is um, with only four pads, we've got a, a very fine control down, we've got a, a reset, and we've also got sort of more uh, practical if you want to do something a bit quicker. Uh, medium speed pads. Um, now obviously you can set this up however you wanted to, you could have, uh, you could use an entire column if you wanted to and have really fine intermediate um, and fast cutting actions with a reset. Um, you can uh, do what, basically set to whatever kind of uh, adjustment level you want. So there you have it, that's how I got fine adjustments out of the launch pad. Hopefully this video helped some of you guys out. Um, if you feel like talking about this video, please head down to our website, thedspproject.com, and leave us a comment. That's always uh, really great to get some feedback. Um, while you're there, you can also subscribe and get future episodes delivered directly to your door. Um, also, subscribing helps us out. The more subscribers we get, um, the better we can make the show. So um, that, uh, that, that support is really appreciated. Uh, finally, you can get in touch with me direct uh, by emailing inbox at the dspproject.com. That is all we've got time, time for today. Join us next week where we will be talking about something else.